present. Be a very good player coming in at uh, number eight. Having a good season. We'll get to see him with the ball later on this afternoon, or he'll hope later on this afternoon. He's got some work to do with the bat first. Yeah, I can see that. Cool, and he saw that pretty well too, didn't he? It was a little bit floaty and a little bit full, and uh, Bresnan's not going to miss out on it. Half folly, wasn't it? I think that's what uh, helps Bresnan out. It's the length. And he's able to uh, drive through it. Look at there's a good flight, a little bit of dip. He talks about the slower he bowls, he gets that dip. That may be, just maybe the uh, early boundary that Bresnan will require. Yeah, it is. Outfield is pretty good and outfield is quick here. And that's uh, the perfect start to the session then for Tim Bresnan. Signalling his intent. Sure, that would have been the chat in the dressing room. For Yorkshire in the uh, lunch break. OK, we've got ourselves into a great position in this game. Now it's time to ram it home. Pulled away, too short on this paceless surface from Luke Fletcher. bit more intent shown I think that's what we both feel up here time just to maybe move it on a little bit and uh, Bresnan agrees Tim Bresnan finally flexing those biceps nailing one over mid on fields up for the moment just 11 out of 139 up. Bresnan's gone for it. Mullaney with a dive, but can't stop it. Got a hand on it. Well, there's a surprise. Mullaney hasn't bowled at all today. Top edge. Is it going for six? Well, I think it is. Gurney has caught it and then uh, fallen over the boundary. No attempt to throw it up and come back in and stay in, but uh, Gurney carrying the ball over and it's gone for six. Power in the shot. His momentum has took him over the boundary. Harry Gurney down at deep backward square leg. Can't stop himself. Who's uh, in his 16th over has only conceded 38. And that's uh, a big shot at last from Tim Bresnan. For 60. Yeah, more like a one day shot, isn't it? It's the a little bit of uh, flight that. Sammy Patel gives that uh, really lights up uh, Tim Bresnan's eyes and it sees it, he knows where he wants to put it. Big gap out in deep mid wicket. Short by Patel, cut away by Bresnan, who will come back for the two here. Harian does always a sharp single, but a single that takes Bresnan to 50. A very measured 50 from Tim Bresnan. They're not pushing on, just making sure Yorkshire that Nottingham should do not win. I think they'll bat and bat and bat just at this tempo.
a handy player. He enjoys batting, he takes on the responsibility too. How many 50s? Three 50s. This summer, this is his fourth. Shot. Just uh, exactly where Bresnan wants it on the pads. Fullish delivery. He's not going to miss out. So Bresnan to 57. Too short. He's bowled a lot of overs and he's not used to bowling a lot of overs these days, Gary Keady. And so he will get tired and that's just far too short on this paceless surface. Spectators are basking in these boundaries. Half track of 45 miles an hour. That's bounced a fraction. So Bresnan managing to get enough of an edge on it to get it down to third man for four. He goes to 69. Again, a little bit of uneven bounce, a little bit of sideways movement, and encouraging signs again. And um, great shot from Bres there, four. Bit of, bit of width on display again and smashed it through the covers for four. And the lads that have come into the side, the likes of Andrew Hodd, at the start of the season when Johnny Bairstow broke his, broke his finger, he did exceptionally well for us. Really good wicketkeeper. Jack Leaning's coming to the side. We saw him batting this game. He's contributed really well. Richard Pyra, he's made good contribution when Liam Plunkett's been away, when Tim Bresnan was injured as well. So. You know, if you're going to win championships, you can't win championships with three or four players. You need everyone to be contributing, and the lads that have come into the side have done a great job. Six. That's sliced away, maybe a bit of a bottom edge, but it's four, and Bresnan starting to open his shoulders now. Twelve off that over. One, uh, 68 overs gone, 5-1-3 for eight. We declared on him 99, not out. I don't think he'd be giggling. That's flashed away down to third man and will be four more. So he's into the 80s now. I think it's a while since Brez got 100 as well for Yorkshire, so he'll be desperate to get 100. And, um, you know, he knows the team plan here. He's opening his shoulders a bit more now. I'm sure he's got plenty of time to get his 100. New ball through the covers. Four more to Bresnan. He moves on to 86. 522 for eight. Lovely shot. Could also be when Bresnan gets 100, will come out, will declare. He's 90 now. Beautiful shot. Half folly put away easily flat wicket here at uh, Trent Bridge. It may also be once you get to your hundred, then start teeing off just to finally. Smash through extra cover, Bresnan. On the rise. Stiff delivery, wasn't it, from uh, Jake Ball? Just 79 miles an hour, and it was a length delivery that was just slapped past Steve Mullaney at extra cover. 94 not out now. He's uh, on the march to that uh, three figures. And gone. Not 100 this time. Looking for that uh, big glory shot over mid wicket. He gets a thick inside edge from Tim Bresnan. 
Long, patient knock.